Governor Mike DeWine signed a new bill requiring school districts to adopt a policy limiting students' cell phone use in the classroom. There are some exceptions here, including whether the phone is needed for a specific class or if there's a medical reason to have that phone. Districts will have until July now of next year to create a policy. Well, Danielle Wiggins is talking to parents and school officials as local districts create or update their policies. And Danielle, I know that uh, you got a lot of feedback here. Yes, we did. And just last night, Cleveland School Board voted to approve their new cell phone policy, which was included in the tentative contract agreement be between CMSD and the Cleveland Teachers Union. So if CTU approves the contract, there will be a universal district cell phone policy beginning next school year. Personal devices will be collected or placed in secured pouches when students arrive, but the collection and storage process may vary from school to school. Now, moving to Avon Lake, where the school district there is in the process of developing their cell phone policy after experiencing a soft lockdown yesterday at the high school. So earlier today, I spoke to parents whose kids do not attend Avon Lake schools, but who still have strong opinions on the topic. As a parent, I think I have peace of mind knowing that my son has access to his phone to communicate. So if he is in trouble or needs help, you know, I'm aware. I think if there was like a lockdown, it might actually kind of freak me out if I got like a partial communication from my kid that wasn't really mm -hmm. an accurate. That was cryptic. Yeah, like it might be like, mom, something happened. And if I knew that was the case, whereas like the school is very now, Kristen Malachy and Shannon Scott tell me their children attend private schools that already have cell phone policies. And of course, House Bill 250 does not apply to non-public schools. And Christy, coming up at 6, how student cell phone use impacted Tuesday's soft, soft lockdown of Avon Lake High School. All right. Interesting to hear about that. Danielle Wiggins, a live force in the newsroom. Thank you so much. We know all of you have a lot to say about this.